Hello and welcome. In today's lesson, Walt is going to show us how to connect RJ45 Ethernet connectors to the Ethernet cable and then test it to see that it has continuity and connected right. Go ahead, Walter. Show us how you're going to go do this. Okay, very simple. All right. First, you take your Ethernet cable. Take your Ethernet cable crimpers. It's also stripper and everything. Universal tool. Very handy. All right. Place the tool. To place the wire in the tool, leave about an inch, two inches of wire sticking out, and slowly rotate it to cut through just the shielding. Twist it off, and now the shield is off. Spread, if you notice inside here, you're going to have one, two, three, four pairs of wires and a core. We're going to trim the core out of the way. Can it core an apple, Walter? It cannot core an apple, John. <laughs> we are now going to start. You have to place the colors in the proper order. All right. We'll start with the orange. Okay. Untwist the orange wires. A little difficult, but a little working. You can get them done. The first color you're going to use is orange with a white stripe. That would be this one. So you're going to roll it through your fingers gently. Try and smooth it out as best as you can, so you you get all the ripple ripples out of the wire. The next wire is going to be orange. Roll this one through. The next wire is going to be green with the white stripe. So you're going to find the green pairs, pair. You're going to untwist the green pair. Take the one with the green with the white stripe out. Roll it through your fingers, smoothing it out. Might as well do the same to the solid green one. Just get it out of the way for now. Place it out of the way. So, so far your colors are gr orange with the white stripe orange green with a white stripe our next one is going to be blue so find the blue pair bring them around and untwist them okay here's our solid blue color roll that through the fingers nice and smooth then we'll take the blue with the white stripe is the next color blue with the white stripe. Now, remember that one solid green wire that you left off to the side? That's our next color. So we'll just swing that right around. Line it up. Right next to the blue with the white stripe. Right here. And our last two wires are our brown pair. Okay. First one that you're going to be using is brown with the white stripe. Last one is solid brown. Now, we will place them all in order nicely. We'll start over. Orange with the white stripe, then the orange. Green with the white stripe, then the blue. Blue with the white stripe, then the green. Then you got the brown with the white stripe, and then your solid brown. Now line them all up and work them with your fingers and your thumb. You want nice uniform lines. It's a little take, a little uh, getting used to, but a little practice you get used to it. Zip, zip, zip. He's now, zipping. <laughs> now you want to leave approximately three quarters of an inch. Okay. Trim them off nice and even. Nice pair of scissors. Okay. <coughs> okay. Take your your connector, your RJ45 connector, and place the wire in, and just slowly wiggle it and insert it. You'll see that all since you kept them in line, they all go right into the order. And you can actually order. feel it working its way into right. the connector, you can feel it finding working its, its way place. in. All right, wiggle it gently. Press, hold it here. Press up, hold it here. Push down, and to make sure you have the wires in all the way. How do you know when to stop? Look at the top over here. See how all your copper points of each end of your wire is now at the very furthest end. You could see them through the connector. Okay, great. So, what you do is just wiggle it on, push it on a little bit, make sure it's in. Take your crimping tool, 
Very right, standard crimping tool. You'll see one's for telephone jack and one's for Ethernet RJ45. Now you just don't go buy these crimping tools anyway. You put a like to buy a knife one there. Is a is a is an okay brand, uh, okay set purchased at Radio Shack. Okay, great, great. Okay, then you just slide the crimp the connector into the crimping tool. See how it lines up. The teeth come down inside and push the copper teeth into the wire. And that's it. Now we take this off. That is your end connector. Excellent. Now we'll test it. I have already did one side of the line. Now we're going to check it. We're going to see. So I will take my tester, place this to on, switch it to on. I will take one end of the connector, plug it into here. Take the other end of the connector, plug it in over here and watch to make sure it's every wire is in proper working order and they're following uh, uniformity that's it and uh, you'll be able to tell if any if wire, wire is mixed, mixed up at all for an example it may go one two three and then the next one over here will be four but if you look on the side over here it might go from four to five and then back up to four again so they would be you scaling differently right, right now they're scaling together they're married the, together the they're, they're, they're scaling simultaneously Everything looks beautiful. This is a very good up. cable. And it's this also continuity. Complete. Continuity through both. Everything's exactly. working. Great. I hope so. you found this little lesson useful. Thank you, Walter. You're welcome, John. Have a nice day.